So with that chat, for anybody that missed it, I once again welcome you aboard. MLB Franchise Mode is finally back. It's been far, far too long. And for those of you who are not familiar with this particular challenge, allow me to explain oh, what we are going to do. Good burger. 59.45. Thank you for the follow. What we are going to do here tonight, chat, and for the foreseeable future, is a franchise mode where, of course, I get you guys involved on Twitch. However, if you watch the NBA series again, you know exactly what this is going to be. It is Draft of Glory, Tugi versus Twitch chat. Draft of Glory head to head. We both start from the bottom. Draft our way up to glory. Oh, good Who's going to win? You. Me. Me. This guy. This guy is going to win. I will promise you that. So again, two, two teams built up from nothing. And we will see who is able to win a championship first. You're going down, everybody. You're going down, and I hope you're ready. Now, again, the elephant in the room right now is that there is no such thing as an expansion team, right? Which which kind of sucks. That's the one thing that NBA has uh, compared to MLB is there's no expansion option series. So what we're going to have to do is take control of this. We could technically make a custom team, but obviously there were no logos or anything like that ready to go. Uh, so what we're going to do is each of us will take over a pre-existing roster. I'm going to leave it up to you guys uh, whether or not you want an AL or NL club. But we're going to take over a pre-existing roster. If they have prospects, say like the Detroit Tigers and Casey Mize, they're out the door. We only build through our draft picks every year. You get one pitcher and one position player in the Rule 5, and that is it in terms of building up your particular team. So... I am very excited for this. There's a lot I could potentially do on Franchise Mode this year, even though they didn't do a damn thing for Franchise Mode this year in the grand scheme of things. So in terms of what team chat is going to be, I am going to fully leave it up to you guys uh, via the power of a straw poll. Now, in theory, we could rule out good teams. Do you really want to tear down San Diego when they just finally got good? I'm thinking we should probably limit it to relatively bad teams, like the Colorado Rockies, for example. I feel like we should limit it to relatively bad teams. Just my opinion, at least. Uh, let me know what you think, but I feel like that's I feel like that's a little bit more fun. Um, granted, you could argue, well, hey, the Boston Red Sox are available, and I'll say, shut up. Nobody cares about your opinion. Uh, but yeah, yeah, I think what we'll do is use some of the teams. And again, I'm going to leave AL clubs and NL clubs. If you guys decide uh, to have an AL club, I'll go to the NL. And that way, a potential World Series matchup is there. So first and foremost, the Baltimore Orioles are very much a part of this vote. Yes, they do have like Adley Rushman and some options. But for the most part, the, Oriel the Orioles are pretty bad. Um, I am incredibly tempted to use the Red Sox personally. I might pick the Red Sox if you guys go with an NL club. I gotta be honest. Goth, what's going on? It is good to see you. The Rays, I'd say, are a bit too good. The Blue Jays are a bit too good as well. At least getting there with the younger talent they have. So look, I know. I'm a hockey channel first and foremost. And there's gonna be a lot of Canadian fans that are very unhappy with the idea of uh, not using the Blue Jays. But it's a sign of respect. Because the Blue Jays are really good. And they have a lot of good young prospects. Uh, Detroit is very much, uh, very much in the running here. Again, they have some prospects, but yikes. Uh, now, in chat, it is being thrown out to destroy the Houston Astros. And I will leave that up to you guys. If you guys want to take over the Astros and turn them into something else, go ahead. Go ahead. I will put the Astros on the pole. And if you don't nuke Houston, I might. I might. Uh, the Royals are going to be a part of this as well because they are very much a rebuilding team. Minnesota, I'm going to say, is a bit too far up there. I don't think they'd win the poll for you guys to control them either. So we get the White Sox, you get the Red Sox. Eh, let's not do that. Can we be the Florida man, Marlins? <laughs> we'll see. 
Uh, let's get the Astros up there as well. Again, the Angels way too good. Uh, the A's were a playoff team last year. I hate to say it, but the Mariners are uh, very much a part of this poll as well, as are the full-capacity Texas Rangers. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, we'll have the Marlins there as well, because obviously, again, they are absolutely terrible. You know, we'll even have Cincinnati. And shout out to a few years ago, youtube.com slash 2 24 of course, where we had uh, a Draft of Glory style series with the Cincinnati Reds. So if you missed that from a few years ago, hey, MLB The Show franchise mode hasn't changed anything for the past couple of years. So really, it's the same experience of watching me uh, rebuild the Reds. Although, uh, in honor of my good buddy Mills, I must say, depth chart, because at least they've added a depth chart. Uh, the Pirates will very much be on the board as well for a voting option, as will the Arizona Diamondbacks, the Colorado oh, Rockies. Good for you! And uh, that'll be it. The Giants, we won't rebrand. So you guys have a double-digit amount of teams here. Levi, thank you for the follow. There will be, I repeat, there will be no runoff. This is it. This is the only poll. Whoever wins is who you guys control. If it's an AL club, I'll pick an NL team, vice versa. The poll is linked in chat right now, and whoever wins happens to win. And like I said, uh, as much as I'd like to rebrand certain teams, aside from the Astros, I mean, eh. Just because, like I said, if you look for the custom teams right now, there's nothing really that we can do aside from like basic editing. Because, uh, I mean, aside from the logo vault, I mean, we can look. Right, because I mean, obviously the vault carries over from the prior year. Uh, I mean, you guys could pick whatever you wanted, but I will—I'll uh, leave it up to you for what you guys choose to do. If you want to replace the pirates, go right ahead. Um, I do wonder if we go to yield sorting options. Uh, let's go by the amount of downloads. For the most part, surprise, surprise—it's uh, it's college teams. Although, there is an Expos logo, so who's to say? If you guys choose to relocate Houston and build your own stadium, you could bring the Expos back. Screw Houston, bring back the Expos. It could happen. I'll leave it up to you. I'll leave it up to you. You could even give them the PR Puerto Rico logo because, uh, yeah, of, their, of the old Montreal Expos ties. And right now, Houston is winning. The idea of destroying Houston and building them back from the ground up is very much alive and well. Interesting. It's down to Houston, Pittsburgh, and Colorado as your top three. Nobody else is even close. Nobody else is even close. Uh, and obviously, if you go with the Astros, that means I'm an NL team, and I probably will pick the Pirates or the Rockies, which makes a lot of sense. Although you gotta love their uh, their AAA ball club, the Skeeters, because you know the Skeeters. Guys, voting is stalled out. I think I think we have a winner. Chat has decided. We are going to tear apart the Houston Astros, and you guys are gonna try to build them up from the ground up. The Astros are no more. The Astros are moving. I presume to Montreal. <laughs> Holy shit. So, you guys will be taking over the Houston Astros with the Montreal Expos. So, congratulations there. And I. Uh, also, you guys play in the AL West. Have fun. Uh, I will be taking over. I don't know why you don't have a logo. Hold on. Uh, create new team. Why is the logo not showing up? It does that sometimes. Uh, logo, select. Or not, because it's trying to load up the vault. Um, aha, stadium select. There we go. Well, first of all, we have to do that. I don't know why the logo wasn't showing up. Randomize me. There we go. 60,000 fans at Le Poutine Park. 
Uh, Mr. Amazing, the stadium creator is actually a lot of fun. It's ridiculous. Like, if you want to, and we just screwed around with it for like an hour. If you want to have a lot of fun and be very serious, you can be. If you want to be ridiculous as ridiculous can be, you can be ridiculous as ridiculous can be. So, um, yeah, you guys are uh, going to have a field day with this, I would say. Logo editor. Ah, yes, thank you. You're right, I did forget to do this. Stupid me. Thank you. Goddamn. Um, is it this logo that we wanted? Yes, there we go. That's the main logo, home jersey logo, home cap logo. Awesome, thank you. All right, we are uh, we are good. We are good. Awesome. Actually, here I can just overwrite Montreal. So there you go. You guys have the Expos. I will be in control of an NL team as well. And uh, as much as I'd love to make a joke team, I will not. Um, I am probably going to go for the Rockies or the Pirates. And I'm not sure who. God. Hey, Deke, are you still here? Do I want to be the Rockies or do I want to be the Pirates for the memes? I mean, both teams are a meme club. Straw poll for which one? Because, no, it's my choice. Deke's gone. What a loser. I mean, I could have the Albuquerque Isotopes and the Hartford Yard Goats, which would be incredible. I think we just hit the tip of the iceberg? Probably. Oh, God. I, uh, I, you know what? I mean, I think it fits the meme, right? I'll be the Rockies. I'm in the West. You're in the East. I'll be the Rockies. Let's do it. So again, for those that missed it, I will be controlling Colorado. You guys will be controlling Montreal. And we will see who can win a World Series first. Uh, GM contracts uh, will not be on. Uh, apparently, they're locked. I don't know why that's locked. Oh, because we have two teams, I'm guessing. But they're on. Why is that on? Is it because I put it on sim instead of casual? There's no way, because that's related to gameplay. Huh. You know, we'll just trust that it's going to be okay. And if not, I'm going to be very mad. I'm going to be very mad. I don't know why that's on. Multiple user teams of selected functionality will turn off. So it says it's going to turn off anyway, so whatever. Uh, fantasy draft will be off. No legend free agents. Computer roster control off. Uh, computer trades are fine. Ignore budgets. Uh, we'll have that off for now as well. Uh, force trade. I'll turn on force trade, but obviously we're not going to trade. The external running is fine. So the big thing will be the DH. Uh, we have some people in chat arguing for the DH to be off. What do you guys think? What do you think? I'm cool with turning it off. I mean, it would affect uh, it would affect me more as an NL team. I don't mind having it off. Normal DH on. DH is for cowards. It's very split. It's very split. <sighs> like you should pick it since it affects your team. <sighs> I'll just leave it on. It's fine. I'll leave it on. I don't care. It affects me more than it affects you. All right. So, coaching task, development task, all of this will be manual for now. Thank you. And we will start in spring training. Guys, we have arrived. We have arrived. Quick and easy to change between the two teams. So, the first step here, of course, number one is for me to gain a little bit of familiarity here. Uh, transactions, player search, whatever. Hold on. <gasps> it's time. It's time. Depth chart. <laughs> You're welcome again, Mills. The depth chart. We made it. Uh, so for the Expos again, as mentioned, what do we do at the very beginning? Uh, we, uh, we just blow it up. We blow it up. That's what happens at the start of a draft of glory. We blow up both teams. So as the Astros head north, 
the Expo's fire sale and designate everybody for assignments. Uh, that way you guys hopefully don't get completely screwed. Um, I mean, we should be fine. Hopefully doing it this way. We might just actually have to outright cut them. That might be the better way to do it. Yeah, screw it. Uh, this will be interesting money-wise, but also money's not really going to be a factor by the time these deals are up. So, uh, yeah. Say goodbye, everybody. Have fun. All of the top dogs are on the way out. The Astros think. Well, in this reality, the Astros are no more. Oh, Although, good going to Poutine you. Park, I don't feel like it's a punishment. Danielson, thank you for the follow. I do appreciate it. And welcome, everybody, who might be new, by the way. Uh, we will be playing a lot of MLB around these parts. We'll get into a bit of Diamond Dynasty, a bit of Road to the Show, but Franchise Mode is always my home. So... Not going to sit there and uh, say, hey, drop the follow. You'll do it if you want to. And if you don't, hey, it's all good. Oh, Although good clearly, if you've you. seen the memes that we have shown you so far, expect more. Expect more. All right. So anybody, uh, we're going to have the overall limit be a oh, 70. Oh, good for you. The overall, and again, thank you guys for the follows. Do appreciate oh, it. Oh, good uh, We're going to have the overall you. limits uh, be at about a 70 for the start. And then, uh, aside from that, it's any half-decent prospect, like Forrest Whitley. Sorry, guys, you don't get him. You don't get him. Uh, where is my sort option? It is the X but It's not the X but What the hell is sort? I mean, right now, I'm just changing leagues. What the hell did they set to sort? <laughs> Alright, uh, I guess I won't sort. I, I guess I'd have to select and then ah yeah God it's been a while I for, I always forget MLB does that I don't like it for the record uh, Pena Pena God damn for the record I have not played MLB in about eight months kind of burned out on twenty again everybody with an A potential can go uh, the B potentials will hold on to and you guys can develop them but you can't keep them. It's pretty much what we're looking at here. So that is your roster for the moment. And uh, honestly, I think what we'll do... I was hoping to be able to auto-order uh, the particular roster and or a depth charts. But, you know, supposed to be what's going on, man. It's good to see you. Oops, don't want to do that. Um, you know, I'm just going to let the... The AI figure it out. You guys should have enough players on your roster to make that work. I like how this is just like, alert! <laughs> Good players just hit the market. And for us here, hate to say it, Trevor Story. You know he's leaving the Rockies eventually. You're on the way out. Charlie Blackman. Oh boy, it's a painful start for us here in Colorado. No different than it is for you guys. Oh boy, yep. And anybody over a 70 is gone. And then the top prospects are gone as well. So the first big thing we'll have to pay attention to is the draft. And we will at least get to our first draft tonight. And, uh, whoops. Sort by potential. Let's get rid of all of you guys. All of you can go. I hate it because the Rockies actually have some prospects. So what exactly is happening here? I came in at the back of the stadium creator. So Red, this is a, um, a series that I do on every game in terms of draft of glory, uh, which for me is at the start, you go bare bones with the organization. You do not make any trades. You do not make any major free agent signings. The only way to accrue talent is through the draft. So obviously we have our normal draft picks, and then in the Rule 5, you get one pitcher and one position player for baseball. Uh, but what we're doing here is something uh, that I started on NBA, and I try to do now uh, with every franchise mode that allows you to have more than one team. And we're going head-to-head. -head. So we did this on NBA, so if that interests anybody, hey, go check it out. 2 24 on YouTube, too. But, uh, yeah, basically, again, that type of rule set, except you guys have a team. And we, uh, we raffle off who gets to make that particular pick. And then I have my team. And we see who wins the championship first. Uh, and it was a blast when we did it on NBA. And I knew 
uh, once MLB came out that I, I had to. Like, it would be way too much fun. Way too much fun. Are there international free agents in 21? No. They, uh, they gypped us like that. I hate to say it. I hate to say it. Did they do anything to scouting and drafting? Oh, I'm pretty sure it's you. the same exact thing. Ryan Costello, thank you for the follow. Oh, we don't have anything to worry about there. Uh, pretty much they just changed the uh, the look of the... Who won the NBA series? I mean, chat will say chat, but did they? I don't know about that. I don't know about that. All right, so for the most part, we are... Uh, we're good. There's not too much to worry about here. We're basically set. So the only question I have then is uh, where did... Where did they put scouting? Well, I guess it wouldn't start until the regular season. So we're good to go. To sim to the beginning of the regular season. We'll take a look at transactions uh, to see who ended up where. But for the most part, we are we are good to go. We are good to go. So, uh, really quickly, let me check training. Yes, I'm aware. Just wanted to make sure everything was on auto for both teams. Good. And there we go. There we get our scouting. So transactions completed. Oh boy, there's there's going to be a lot of uh, a lot of moves. We'll see eventually who ended up where. I think will be the easier way to make it. So what's up? What's going on, buddy? This is good to see you. Asuna's still a free agent, and nobody cared. <laughs> and nobody cared. You'll tank better. We'll see, won't we? We will see. So the only thing that we really have to do here, good thing is scouting is right there. Oh boy. So you see the humble beginning for my Rockies. And the uh, the humble beginnings for the Expos as well. And it's, it's only going to get worse. God, the budgets are brutal too. Um, in terms of sponsorship, I mean, I'm not going to really have anything unlocked. So uh, we'll just do the both. Uh, do the same for both organizations. And that basically brings us straight into scouting. And again, scouting works in the exact same way it has for years now. So what we will do, and actually here, double, uh, double check our, our staff if I can. Just want to recheck the budget screen there too. And training sets, scouting. I think we'll probably just stick with the scouts that we were uh, that we were assigned for now, because why not? Keeps it kind of fair. Maybe. Maybe. Hmm. Sportscraft, third time's the charm. I believe in you. God, you guys still have Dusty Baker, or Bud Black. You know what? We'll leave the staff exactly the same. And uh, whoever has the better draft, whoever has the better draft will earn prioritizing uh, when it comes to the scouts and everybody like that heading into, uh, heading into this next season. So a lot's on the line for that first draft. And what we will do here, um, actually, well, in fairness... We do have someone in the central. Central East West. I mean, number one, we need him for international. So that kind of sucks. Uh, what we'll do, pitcher ready clutch. Now, I don't necessarily want to... Uh, God, I don't necessarily want to uh, have to do this for both teams, but it's, it's kind of where we're at, if we're being honest. Oh, boy. Can I? Okay, I can just flip between the two. Good. Pitcher ready clutch. Got our international scout. We need an east scout. Oh, good oh, for you. Good, Mr. Amazing. Thank you for the follow, by the way. Oh, boy. Time to get back into the swing of things from here. So, we do not play. Actually, we play pretty early on. We have a quick two-game set in Montreal. Because, of course. And what we'll do is sim through date there. Uh, auto fix all. Auto fix all. We'll turn off critical situations. We do a lot of simming here. I wish I could jump 
into uh, into scouting from where we were, but it is what it is. Let's go pitcher ready command. So this will uh, this will be interesting in terms of being somewhat time consuming, but obviously we're just gonna. I'll leave it up to you guys. We could just go with auto scouting, or we could go with this scouting method that we know uh, works and has worked for years in terms of actually bringing in good talent. So I'll leave it up to you. Maybe for this first draft we handle it this way, though. But it is going to be a little bit, uh, a little bit time consuming. Auto scouting will make it more random. It's true. All right, we'll go auto scouting. We'll do it. I'm on board. Saves me time, that's for sure. All right, uh, we can do it. Injury management. Uh, we will put on auto scouting. We will also put on auto. Apply changes, and then for the Rockies. All right, cool. It goes for both. All right, so we're good to go. We are good to sim ahead here. And we will see what the setting is heading into Montreal. Uh, let's just go auto fix all, because again, nobody has anybody uh, on their roster that we have to worry about. So the Rockies are three and 13. The Expos are six and nine. I have to, I have to see this. <laughs> I have to see this. Oh God, actually, hold on. God, it's not in Montreal, is it? Nah, it's not in Montreal, it's in Colorado. Boo, <clears throat> boo. Uh, let's hope that we play again in Montreal this season. <clears throat> Guys, we do not play in Montreal this season. Head-to-head -head at least. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. Uh, so what we'll do then, screw it. Uh, we will sim to draft day. Pretty simple, since I don't have to handle the scouting. And we'll get right down to business here, which is fine by me. Do, do we? Did I miss it? Did I not see it? Clearly not. Because I didn't bring it up. Where the hell did we play? Looking, looking. Also, I was hitting the wrong button there. Rock. Hey, you're right, we do. Middle of August, I completely missed it. Why are they both two game sets, though? All right, well, cool. We do play this season, then. I completely missed it. Fair enough. Fair enough. 